Hi, as requested by many users, Piney now fully supports Astro. Piney is a visual editor for Tailwind that runs directly in Visual Studio Code, Cursor, and Windsurf. And in addition to Astro, Piney can work with React and Next.js projects. So let's take a look at how you can use it with Astro. First, install Piney from Extension Marketplace. Just search Piney and then click Install. And with that, right-click anywhere in your code and choose Edit in Piney. This opens Piney next to the Active Code Editor. If the preview doesn't show up, go to Settings and enter the correct preview URL. Piney recognizes Astro files and shows their structure in the tree panel. We can then either select elements in the tree panel or in the code. Selecting elements lets us then use visual controls to style their Tailwind classes. So, for example, now this text accent Astro 5.0 is selected and we can choose another color or any other uh, Tailwind properties. I'm now doing undo to go back to original. And here we have like all the commonly used controls for text, margins, paddings, dimensions, display positions, background, border, flex, grid, and so on. And use the screen size controls to switch between screen sizes to implement responsive designs. And right click also resizes the preview window to the chosen breakpoint size. To choose to, to style a specific state, just select it from the state dropdown. Visual controls are nice, but my favorite styling tool is Inspector. Inspector shows Tailwind classes of the selected element and all its parents. So here we have a node selected, this is this element. To change property, just click on it and select a new value and toggle class to easily see what it does. Use add class to add new classes either through menus or by um, using the smart text insert. An inspector is great uh, for managing complex styles. We just click and select values. And also we see everything uh, in one place. With Piney, we can even edit Tailwind classes that are defined in variables or uh, returned by function calls. Just place the cursor in a class string and then edit them either with visual tools or the inspector. The top bar shows a list of recently edited components and layouts and easily switch between them by clicking on them. And here we can also associate roots with components so that whenever we edit a particular component, it, the associated root is loaded automatically in the preview. By the way, Piney tries to automatically detect roots and we can choose them here in the dropdown uh, on top of the preview window. Piney comes with AI Assistant that works with your own API provider key, but we won't go into detail uh, here into this in this video. So all of these features up to now are completely free. 
you don't even have to create an account. But that said, the real fun starts with Piney Pro. And when editing a project like this one, it is quite hard to keep track of where things are defined. I guess you saw me struggle with this also. So like to change this heading, you know, we have to figure out where in the code it's actually defined. So jumping around like this is quite a big waste of time. But Piney's Pro Visual Select solves this problem for us. So first we need to install a small Astro plugin. So let's go into settings and then here visual selection, we follow these simple instructions. So let me enlarge the terminal. So first of all, we just do npm install of the um, Pinees Astro plugin and additional supporting library, Micromorph. And with that done, we open Astro config and first of all, import the Piney Astro plugin that we just installed. And then we add it in the integrations array. So this is here. So we can edit it at the end, doesn't matter. So <clears throat> one more note. So the dev toolbar needs to be enabled and it is enabled by default. So usually there's nothing to do. So with that, we can now restart the dev server and let's test the setup and success. We can now start to use visual select. Now we can enable click to select up here and then select elements directly in the preview. And this selects the element in the code and in Piney. This really makes it easy to jump around the project. We just click on various elements and go directly to the code. This feature is super useful even if we are not using Tailwind. I think in my view it, it justifies the value of Piney Pro on its own. When click to select is active, the top bar displays the selected component, the edited component and all its parents. And Piney uses advanced uh, logic under the hood to map elements in the browser preview um, to their source code. And this doesn't always work 100% because things can get complicated. But in most cases, even if it doesn't work, it actually helps a lot and gets us at least close to the correct place. So this is, this is super fun, super easy way to navigate your Tailwind to the Astro project. And when we want to like uh, interact with the page, just switch off, click to select, and then everything is interactive. So let's go to pricing page and now click to select. Let's select a pricing card. And this takes us to the pricing component where we can then make changes. So this is really, really nice way to navigate the project. And Visual Select also works with React Islands. So even if we have a project that uses React components inside Astro layouts, we can seamlessly navigate between them. Piney Pro comes with one more very useful Astro feature. By default in Astro, Hot Reload is not supported for Astro layouts, pages and components. So for example, so let me select this. When we change something, so let's change the text to seven. You notice the whole page is reloaded. The, you could see the animations are, are rerun. And that means that any like uh, dynamic state or even scroll position is lost on every change. But not with Piney. Piney's uh, Astro plugin also implements hot reload for Astro files. 
and Hot Reload is only active whenever click to select is on. So now, if this is on and if we change the size of the heading, notice that the animations are not rerun. And that means that the content was, you know, reloaded in place without uh, reloading the whole page. So any dynamic state and scroll positions are preserved. And this is also much faster. And if you disable click to select and do an edit, the whole page is reloaded. If you run into any issues with hot reload or if you are using alternative solution for that, just follow this tip and add uh, this configuration into Piney Astro plugin. And Piney Pro also lets you select multiple elements on the page. So just use Ctrl or Command and then you can edit them all at the same time. And this is another great time saver. So all of these features make Piney a great companion for your Astro adventures. Hope you will find Piney useful. Take care. Bye-bye.